Yes, hi me once again. Welcome to this week's pickups. We usually do this on a Sunday, but I've got a bit of time to do it on Saturday night. This gives you an idea of how uh, extensive my social life is beyond my little games room here, uh, i.e. non-existent, but there we go anyway. Um, bit of a successful um, pickup trip today, uh, as usual in line with all the other bits and pieces that I've done over the last oh, six or seven weeks here on YouTube. Uh, not a lot of money spent, and... A reasonable selection I would say of games which maybe even some people out there who will view my usual pickups as basically shovelware and bits of tat and highly um, commercial vastly produced not very rare games at all everyone's entitled to their own opinion I'm quite happy with that as I said before you know me I enjoy the volume rather than the quality so let's start up with what we've got and try and get the angles right and the light and first pick up today was formula one 2002 on the playstation 2 which has you'll be able to see hopefully there the disc uh, dvd of the 2001 formula one season i'm not a big formula one fan a uh, quick story about this one i actually went to buy this a few months ago and when I was came to check the disc, there was actually on the game disc a hole on the circle on the inside, and they wouldn't sell it to me. And it had the DVD with it. When I bought it afterwards from somewhere else, it hadn't got the DVD with it. So um, I was a bit disappointed not to get that. Not that it matters to me really whether it's in there or not. It's just nice to have it if it's advertised on the front. So I paid a pound for that one. Maybe overpaid actually. I think I can probably pick up a standard version of that for much much less move that over there uh, next one up uh, another one for the sing star collection sing star pop world as you may have known from a couple of uh, videos ago i haven't got any microphones i still haven't got any microphones uh, but i'm not going to walk past that for 50p just to the point that i may at some point get some microphones uh, and again there's some interesting tunes on there some i've never even heard of before some of them you can only possibly imagine how bad they're going to sound coming out of my cake hole yeah, uh, it, it's one of those that I, I will probably put in once, have a go, very, very quietly when nobody's listening and I've got the house myself and go from there. Uh, 50p paid on that one. Uh, glutton for punishment, aren't I? Singstar. So I've now got three of these uh, games, Singstar series. Again, uh, 50p paid on that one. And the same fault as before. Probably more likely songs that I'm going to sing on this one. Oof, yeah. Uh, suspicious minds ymca yeah you, you can imagine the fun i'm going to have on this can't you yeah um not bad copy like the fact these are in white cases as well and this no these aren't being produced the blue ones nice look at and again another grand total of 50p paid on that one uh, let's pick this one up here uh this is now you might be surprised if we did pick a playstation 3 game a couple of weeks ago well there's another one this is deuce x and i have no idea what this is about uh, paid a pound for this in a charity shop and I realised I probably could have got it for uh, a little bit cheaper in CEX but then we're talking a matter of pence aren't we really yeah I, I I don't know I just I was in sort of hit a stride by this point it was sort of quite late in the day and I bought a few things and bits and pieces and you know how it is you sort of buy things and uh, you hit a bit of a run and you're on a bit of a roll this was one of those cases so um, yeah pound paid on that one a couple of sports games for the collection um, Ronaldo and Michael Owen on the front of PS 2008 on the PlayStation 2. Uh, another interesting story about this, and picked up for a charity shop, another well known charity uh, store I use quite a bit of. Uh, they started putting uh, security tags on their cases, which I can quite understand because what you don't want to do is people coming in and taking, you know, it's, it's, it's bad enough people do that anyway, in, in you know. Uh, CEX and players that come in and take the steel cases or, or what have you, just take the cases they've got the loose disc at home but it's bad enough that when, when people sort of take this out of charity shop you know, DVDs and games and, and what have you you know, you know they, they can't all keep stuff behind the counter out of the way it's very very difficult to understand so one charity shop started putting tags on theirs, sticky labels, the same ones that game do, except game put them on after you've bought the item I can never work that one out. Anyway, they put them on before you bought it. I bought this particular copy from a, a, a branch near me, took it home, took the label off, opened it inside. Guess what? No game in there. So, yeah. Uh, always best to check that if you're going to put a security tag on the box before you sell the game, the actual game's still in there to stop people nicking it. Yeah, well, there we go. 
and also uh, basketball game NBA 2K8 uh, 50p paid on that one 50p paid on the other one so that's what one two that's four quid so far not too bad are we uh, and then uh, now this will be interesting double whammy on this one it's a green case Ugh. yeah there we go first sort of inkling on this one well whatever's inside it I'm gonna buy it because I could do this as a spare um, Xbox case because I've got uh, a couple of rough Xbox cases knocking around it'd be nice to have one of those and when I open up on the inside you may or may not be able to see there is Operation Flashpoint uh, Dragon Rising on the PS3 so a bit of a bonus I've got that one I've also got a spare uh, PlayStation 3 disc box knocking around somewhere I don't know much about Operation Flashpoint but uh, I will give it a go and 50p paid on that so a bit of a win either way really because I think the game is maybe about 50p to a pound any or up to a quid anyway second hand and the box well there we go not too bad was it really so the £4.50 um, right now yeah all sorts of stuff today so this is, this is one of the good things like you know move around um, a really yucky copy of FA Premier League Stars 2001 on the PlayStation 1 this you don't see many PlayStation 1 games being donated to charity shops and I'm going to get the charity shops very very quickly in a minute you might see them at car boots and things like that but they get me more and more rarer now than they were before what I don't particularly like about this is it is a shocking state it's got a horrible you probably can't see it there like sellotapey sticky label there the case has got a distinct crack on it and the disc is borderline i can give it a good clean up and see how we get on with it but it's a borderline disc it, it's it's got a bit of a stink to it as well i've got to be honest with you but it was a quid and, and like i said you don't see many of these out out in the wild anymore um you used to you, used to, you couldn't move past the damn things at car boot sales a few years back people will you know um playstation ones were appearing with regularity of of domestic toasters there were so many of them that people were trying to give them away and of course now uh, you know uh, cx wants sort of 20 25 quid for them which is astonishing really how quickly things are changing two or three years so i bought that purely because uh, you've got to rescue sometimes you've got to rescue these things that's where it's I paid a quid on that one anyway um bit of we love today you know the massive we collection disney's bolt i remember seeing the film a few years ago i don't know much else about it uh and that was a quid uh, nice condition copy actually which is uh nice to see instruction manual all entitled and that's good because i've got a massive uh, Wii game collection which i don't think i've put under camera yet um but there's quite a lot there and it's nice to pick up these ones every now and again quid paid on that uh, another playstation 3 game for you this is wet uh, I, again i've seen it knocking around i don't know anything about it um and a bit of a tribute to the late great sir bruce Forsyth because there was a bit of a brucey bonus inside this one uh there it is see that there dead space on the playstation 3 now if i was in two minds about buying wet at 199 which i probably would have been that although it does need a bit of a clean on the back of it so get it rub over the cloth uh was inside and i thought well there we go and that's a bonus as far as i'm concerned so i don't walk past those i've mentioned the story before about picking up a dance game with a uh, playstation 2 memory card inside it was worth it just for that alone so it's nice to see uh things like that going on and always a tip if you're going to sort of donate games to charity um just make sure that you put in the right stuff in the right box and not doubling things up because a lot of us always check to see what we're getting we always like to see that things are inside them especially at car boots especially charity shops as well we that story earlier things go missing things aren't where they should be wrong cases wrong games etc always nice to see something like that so if that was you doing that in, in my local area thank you very much i'm very much appreciated and it'll go into the collection uh, and the last game and uh, you're gonna sort of look at this and probably roll your eyes my horse and me too on the wii yes <laughs> i actually have my horse and me the original as well if you're a collector of, of wii games or um obscure crappy titles like that that you're never actually going to play bear in mind that, that if you wouldn't probably be able to get that much less than you know three to four quid 
and I paid 150 today because I knew it was a game which is probably going to be double the price if I tried to buy it elsewhere and if I was trying to sort of be a completist which I'm not I've got a lot of Wii games, we're not trying to complete the collection because a lot of those games are going to sort of be giving out in my uh, sort of comfortable price range. But it's these sort of games which would have a limited appeal, limited run, which are always going to be the ones that tend to hold their value a little bit more outside the sort of uh, high profile titles per machine. So this was a, a, a nice little pick up today, uh, will I play it probably once. I did watch a video of it, it looked quite fun actually, I'm going to be honest with you, it did look quite interesting, but these are sort of things, the Barbie games, the, the uh, horse games, some of those will still hold their value and increase the value as they go along. So 150 paid on that, grand total today folks, are around about a tenner, and that wasn't a bad haul, bear in mind that um, there was an extra game thrown in, and I've got a case and an extra game which I probably wouldn't have bought anyway. So that's not too bad at all, and um, in terms of a, a bit of a haul round, it's probably one of the better ones I've done for quite some time actually, and I had a lot of fun doing that today, because I've got something for you know PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, and the Wii, fortunately didn't get anything for the Xbox, which would have been nice, because I'm beginning, beginning to dry up a little bit on those now. Um, I don't know whether it's because we've had this article uh, in the last sort of six months or so in Retro Gamer magazine, if you've ever you seen the article Reddit, uh, you'll know what I'm talking about where that machine now is sort of considered being pushed on as being retro which is probably correct uh, but what it's done is now sort of mean that people are holding on to their games um, therefore take them out of circulation and the second hand price is gradually starting to creep up again on some of those games which a few months ago and this isn't going to sound like an awful lot but a game which you might have got for a couple of quid a few months ago might now be sort of three or four that's you know doesn't sound like it's an awful lot, but it's 50% double you know, in price increase in such a short period of time, and that's it. Quick word I want to mention about sort of charity shops and things. All this haul today has come from charity shops. I mentioned before that some of the other stuff I picked up has been from sort of uh, CEX and places like that, and I'm very grateful for uh, those guys to, to still be able to sell that stuff on the high street uh, at a reasonable price. Some of their stuff is anyway, some of their stuff isn't. They do sort of control the second-hand market value uh, for better or for worse, but um, the the issue, the sort of thing is with with charity shops. You know, we still use those as a great source of hunting. So, if you are sort of holding on to these things, looking to get rid of them, put them into the charity shops because one, you can get a good cause, and two people like me will quite happily come along and pay a, a good price for a game that we're after. It's always nice to see because it tends to go in fits and starts. Some parts. You see uh, parts of the areas I go to will go out and there'll be towns and cities and, and little centres with nothing in them at all, no games whatsoever. One place I went to today where I got the uh, Pro Evolution and the NBA game, uh, five charity shops on a small high street and two of them didn't have any games at all. And the three and two of them had all the games they had last week and the week before and the week before that because they were sort of generic titles. Um, moving on to that. So the more stuff that gets into charity shops, the more we're going to go in there and, and spend our hard-earned cash and we can donate money to charity, that's a good cause, and we're all doing something good. We're um, giving into a hobby, but at the same time we're also doing a good cause, and a few quid here and a few quid there. I know it doesn't make a huge amount of difference, but it's all going in the right direction, and I think that's very, very important. Um, so, yeah, if you are that sort of person, keep going, keep checking those places out, keep supporting the charity shops, because without, you know, people like them holding stuff like that you know a lot of this hobby would be very very expensive for a lot of people it is in all fairness more expensive than it was five years ago which probably in turn is more ex more expensive than it was sort of back in the day you know we just need to make sure that, that, that there's enough equipment um if equipment stuff going into places that we can go and get it basically i've i've, I've gone on far too long I've got, you know, you can tell this is on the script, it's me talking into, you know, I must, must, must do this much, much better. Anyway, that's my sort of feelings on these sort of things anyway, so, uh, but I've had a good day. That's the most important thing, I've had a good day today, and, and that's nice, and these all, all sit nicely and be very proud of those, as am with everything else, possibly with the exception of that FA Premier League Stars game, which looks a horrible game to play anyway. Uh, I was never a big fan of, of the, the, the series back in the day. I'm not really looking forward to touching that ever again. I'm going to give my hands a very good wash. And I will see you again very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Take care now and keep gaming.